So I made that school. The other day, my friend Tim invited me to paint with him downtown. Tim's a former Disney animator and a fellow urban sketching and plein air painting enthusiast. I'm so lucky to have friends who push me to leave the Hobbit hole every once in a while. Honestly, I will go weeks without poking my head outside if given a chance. We found a nice bench to sketch and chat, and there was this lovely tree casting this amazing shadow on this red building across the street. We were both fascinated by the shadow and couldn't wait to paint it. About 20 minutes in, I finished my pencils and began inking the tree bark while musicians played songs for tips around the corner from us. I was having some such a good time that before I knew it, Tim was done with his painting and it was gorgeous. We were barely an hour in and he was ready to go get some hot chocolate from the bakery across the street. Me, I was still inking leaves, so many leaves. We went and got some hot chocolate and cookies and Tim was kind enough to wait for me while I finished my painting an hour later. Because that's what friends do, right? They lure you out of your hobbit hole with the promise of art, hot chocolate and cookies on a lovely fall day. That's how they get you. You are too concerned with what was and what will be. There's a saying, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. <laughs> like a girl. Auto-tune. You want to see how I do it? I come up with all my best stuff in the bathroom at work. I use this program to import the recordings I make on my phone. Yeah, yeah, feeling good on a Wednesday. Sparkling thoughts. Give me the hope to go on. Oh, oh. what I need now is a little bit of shelter. Dad, Lord's music is actually really good. Thanks, but it gets even better when I add the drum loops. Yeah, yeah, feeling good on a Wednesday. Then with the computer, I can actually quantize Sparkling, everything, feeling good, feeling back up good, instruments, and yeah, then finally yeah, I use the yeah, auto tune. Yeah. Bitches up my dick, cut my swag in the Down in Ohio, swag like Ohio, down in Ohio. You know what I'm thinking, Peter? Instead of going to Blockbuster, we drive right into the first pond we see. It'll be a quicker death than this trip. Guys, look! Oh, oh my god, it's real! We made it! Well, I suppose I should be the responsible one and release all the car farts. You're free now. Go. I said go! Look, the bottom line here, Meg, is that you're just taking your own problems out on everyone else. 
problems. Oh, my problems? Oh, I see. Is this coming from my role model mother? The shoplifter, the drug addict, the porn star, the whore who let Gene Simmons and Bill Clinton go to town on her? Oh, so what? Uh, all those things are behind me now. I'm a better person now because of those experiences. Are you? Are you a better person? What's your point, Meg? My point is that with all the irresponsible, reckless, idiotic behavior in your past, that somehow, <laughs> somehow you have the nerve, the arrogance to consistently and ruthlessly point out my shortcomings. All right, well, fine. Okay, I'm not the perfect mother. Who is? <laughs> not only are you not the perfect mother, you're the farthest thing from. From the moment you gave birth to me, I had to trust you. I had no choice. I needed you to protect me from the world, to, to be my guide, to help me navigate the difficult, confusing, and vulnerable journey to becoming a per- And I'm asking why, Lord, if this is how I die, Lord. Let them eat cake. That's such nonsense. I would never say that. This, madame, is Versailles. If I could do something, I'm not going to Should I talk about how I saw three people die in a week? I'm convinced that my ass has gotten bigger. Dude, it's so fucking ass. hot. And how do you feel about people buying tattoo machines on Amazon and learning to tattoo at home? Honestly, I don't even know why Amazon has the licensing to sell such a device. Um, Tattooing is not one of those things you get to pick up and try. I don't believe that. I think that... And I had a very, like, traditional upbringing in tattooing. I did an apprenticeship, but I feel like... <laughs> no. Asking AI to extend my artwork. Part 5. oil painting in an Altoids tin. Right away, using a coffee stir stick as my straight edge, I'm drawing some one-point perspective lines with my pencil. I'm in Mazunte, Mexico, where there are a lot of beaches, but this time instead of painting a beach scene, I wanted to paint this old Nissan cargo truck I keep seeing on my morning walk. There's the structure of the truck, and now I can start painting. I'm mixing a brown tone to just get the darker areas, the grill in the front, the wheels, the underside shadows, and those dark shapes of the windows. A little shadow on the passenger door. And then the two planes of uh, the back cargo area. I'm just leaving out the details for now. Starting the background, some of that foliage, the green. And um, once I start using the edge of this big brush to, to try to detail, then I know it's okay to switch over to a smaller round brush. There's the little license plate. 
some reflections on the windows and uh, the small rearview mirror. Now I can start defining the negative space in the back cargo area and a few lights in the front and some other details. And trying to make sure that there's a full range of darks and lights in this painting. Getting some uh, finer details in there. The guy who owns the place across the street told me that the man who owns this truck considers this truck to be his pride and joy. I never got to meet him though. Realized that the window on the passenger side isn't quite right. It's too elongated, but oh well, it looks pretty good still. That was about an hour and a half painting. I don't want to set the world on fire. I Who's my good little kid? Nấu cho tôi gói mì đi bạn, đói quá. Trời trời trời, đói thì tự vô vô mà nấu đi. Bố mẹ bạn đâu? Kêu bố mẹ bạn nấu, còn nấu không được thì để tôi. À, bạn dự muốn ăn mì gì? Mì cô Omachi hay là mì xào táo quân hay là mì tôm ha? Mì mì tôm truyền thống không bỏ trống ngày nào. <cười> Tức là ngày nào cũng ăn đó. Đó, bạn thấy tôi làm sao? Rất là kỹ đúng không? Từng sợi mì, từng khâu chọn lọc bột, rồi bao bì này kia tôi làm rất là kỹ Phải tỉ mỉ như vậy thì nấu lên nó mới ngon, đúng không? <cười> Đó, bạn thấy làm sao? Nhìn quen không? Để tôi nấu cho nha Bây giờ mình sẽ gấp mì ra, sau đó cắt gia vị, rồi chế nước sôi vô Rồi cho miếng trứng, rồi miếng tương ớt vô dứt solve this problem with my four hyper intelligent brains I'm hungry I'm cold I'm itchy pussy You're listening to Uncle Jazz Think of all the things we could do